In this episode, we hike King's Canyon in a storm, climb some rocks, and explore the Garden of Eden. We start this journey by driving to King's Canyon from Uluru. The George Gill Ranges are spectacular to watch as you drive along. These were named by Ernest Gillis to honour his brother-in-law who funded his expedition. He was one of the first colonial settlers to visit the ranges here. <laughs> Will they move? Will they move? Just chill it out. Please go, you are an abs. Oh. Mills and I have arrived at King's Canyon. We've been conned into doing the big walk by the girl at the petrol station. She told us it's not as long as it says it is and that we can do it. So we're going to give this big long walk a crack. It's okay. two o'clock, still got a couple of hours to do it, and then we're going to run back to Alice before we get before slammed rain. this rain. Plan. Let's do it. Currently raining fairly heavily, and we have to climb up this rim, the edge of all those cliffs. Wow, this is amazing. Check out this view. It's a very steep edge of the cliff here. You don't want to fall from up here because I'm long way down. Long way down into the valley there. We're completing the rim walk around Kings Canyon. It's a six kilometer hike that takes you along both edges of the canyon. So on this rim walk, you do have to walk a hundred meters up, pretty much a vertical cliff face, to get to the rim of the canyon. Once you've done that, it's actually quite mellow up here. Besides the breeze and you have a stunning view look at that that's just amazing definitely recommend this walk but you do need to be fit and have lots of water king's canyon is home to two indigenous tribes the luriger and arenti this gorge provided valuable water to these tribes for over 20,000 years keeping them alive and healthy during several droughts in this landscape alone, there are 60 plant species that are unique to this area that you won't see anywhere else in the world. So we've just climbed all the way up the back of these cliffs and we haven't seen the canyon in a while. So I think we're going to pop through this gap and see the canyon on the other side. It's tight up here. Gorgeous. What a place. Hey, Millie. This is a nice little climb up these little steps. It's a fair old view from up here. Oh my God, it keeps going behind me. Wow. We're back on the track now, following our little blue markers. We've been pretty lucky actually on this walk so far. We actually haven't copped that much rain yet. No, just when we came up the stairs. Just up the stairs, we got showered in rain. But up here, it's lovely. Yeah, Trees. Yeah, and that's the other thing, we've got these big cliffs blocking the wind. It's really nice up here. Millie was just saying to me, it'd be great to have a full day to explore up here because these canyons run all the way back and you could just keep climbing them and keep exploring them and I would love to do that. Millie and I have just started walking along and then looked up and gone oh wow and <laughs> it really is oh wow look at this. This is like stepping back in time. I don't want to get too close to the edge. This is almost the highest spot on the walk and it is amazing up here. Oh, I don't like cliffs that much. I'll stay back here a little bit. So these ripples you can see in the rocks back here 
are evidence that this area used to once be an ocean floor or a seabed and that these ripples were caused by the waves and the movement of water. That is just amazing to imagine this area underwater. 400 million years ago. Ah, 400 million years ago. Just a blink of an eye. You know how time flies. But I think there is a bit of a bridge section coming up, which is probably going to be terrifying in this wind. So we'll see how this goes. Whoop. I'll go first then. <laughs> Oh wow, wow, oh my goodness. This is not what I expected to come across. Look at the water in here. This is not what I was expecting. This is serene. This is absolutely like a little paradise tucked away. How do I get down there? And can I swim? There must be a way to get down somewhere. I don't think we'll make it down today, but I think I'm going to vow to make this my goal to get back into this and swim someday in the future, because that is too amazing. When the lovely petrol station lady told us this walk takes two and a half hours if you're fit, I don't think she accounted for us um, spending three hours stopping here and being in awe of this landscape. As we sit here, having a bit of a break, looking down into this gorge. Um, on reflection, better than Uluru? It's very it's different. Different, but I'm almost tempted to say if you had to put a rating on it. This is sick, this, this is, is wicked. This is insane, this is. To be able to explore and climb things, Pretty cool. There's also, there's also no one here in comparison to Uluru. Yeah. We haven't seen anyone for almost two hours now. There were um, people at the car park, but I reckon they finished. No yeah. one started as late as us. Yeah, no one's, no one's starting these big walks when we do. But yes, this is um arguably as good or better than Uluru for exploring and the scenery. Yeah. So these round domes that you can see all across the landscape, once upon a time, they were square in a grid like almost like a chocolate bar but from erosion sand and wind and rain they've slowly rounded off the edges and now they're all extremely round you can almost hardly imagine them square no not to create fear but we're just halfway through the walk and it is what i say 3 30 in the afternoon and there's a storm rolling in um millie and i i've got to hustle up a little bit so we're not trapped up here when it starts to rain again. Yep. And we can still drive home to Alice Springs. It'd be nice. So I'm gonna cut you off. Beep. Oh my goodness, a little crevasse here. I was just gonna jump over that. I probably won't. I'll probably just walk around the gate. I think it just says pull metal rings. I thought it was locked. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. We should be on the other side of the canyon now. Yep. We, oh wow. We're on the cliff edge. I'm not sure if I like this. Wow. But that is an amazing, amazing piece. This place is spectacular. This walk just keeps throwing up little gems. As you're kind of head down walking, watching where you're going, you look up all of a sudden and Wham, you're in a little hidden green paradise. 
Let's have a look what I've got going on over here. We finally saw some others on the walk, which was nice. I think they are French backpackers. Wow, isn't this gorgeous? A little creek bed going through here. Looks like we're finally at the end of the walk. Look at all these lovely stairs. Make it down, and then you can see our cars there. These are much more mellow than um, the other stairs on the other side. It was actually powering ahead. She loves it. And that's it. We have completed the walk. It has been a day. Oh, goodness. Walked all the way the base of all the road, what, 11 kilometers, and then this was another six. Crazy. Plus we did backtracking along here, so I call it seven. Almost 20 k's of walking today. And climbing. And climbing. But wouldn't change it at all. In the next episode, we go to Catherine, hike in the Nipmuc National Park, and swim in the best waterholes. Stick around. <laughs>